Logical Topologies Everyone is aware that networks have a physical topology, which is the physical connection or arrangement of a network's hardware, such as the computers, switches, routers, and transmission lines. Well, for those of you who didn't know, networks also have a logical topology. This is the method in which the data flows through the networks. The media access method, which is the way network access is controlled and collisions are prevented, is based on the logical topology rather than the physical. To effectively troubleshoot communication problems, it is important to know not only the physical topology of a network, but also the logical, so that you know what path the data packets take as they travel from one computer to another. Switching is also a component of a network's logical topology that determines how connections are created between nodes. There are three methods for switching, circuit, message, and packet. In circuit switching, a connection is established between two nodes before they begin transmitting data. Bandwidth is dedicated to this connection and remains available until the users terminate connection between the two nodes. While the nodes remain connected, all data flows from the same path initially selected by the switch. Some applications benefit from this type of connection, such as live video or audio conferencing. In message switching, a connection between the two devices is established, information is then transferred to the second device, then breaks the connection. The information is stored and forwarded from the second device after a connection between that device and a third device on the path is established. This continues until the message reaches its destination. All information follows the same physical path, however the connection is not continuously maintained. This requires that each device in the data's path has sufficient memory and processing power to accept and store the information before passing it to the next node. Packet switching is the most popular method for connecting nodes on a network. This process breaks data into packets before they are transported. Packets can travel any path on the network to their destination, allowing them to find the fastest circuit available. They do not have to follow each other along the path, nor must they arrive at their destination in order. When they reach their destination, they are resequenced. The greatest advantage of packet switching is it does not waste bandwidth by holding a connection open until a message reaches its destination, as circuit switching does. Ethernet networks and the Internet are the most common examples of packet switching networks. A logical topology will not necessarily match its physical topology. Different routing protocols establish the logical topology in different ways. The most common logical topologies are bus and ring. On a linear bus network, the physical and logical topologies are the same. The cable is laid in a line and the data travels up and down that line, so a network that uses a physical bus topology also uses a logical bus topology. In ring topology, signals follow a circular path between sender and receiver. Like in bus topology, networks that use a pure ring physical topology also use a logical ring topology. The token ring is the most common example of a network with different logical and physical topologies. Here, the physical topology is a star. As you can see, there's a length of cable from each computer that connects it to a central hub, the multi-station access unit. Inside the hub, however, the ports are wired together sequentially in a ring and they send data around the ring instead of sending it out to all the ports simultaneously as it would if the network was a star topology. Because simple topologies can be too restrictive, there are also hybrid topologies. Those are the star wired ring, which use the physical layout of a star in conjunction with the logical ring topology, and the star wired bus which uses the physical layout of a star in conjunction with the logical bus topology. This forms the basis for modern Ethernet network. Those are just a few of the types of logical topologies. I hope this video has helped you in some way. Thanks for watching.